Okay. Now where is that button again? Greta's camera. She says that. How about this place? Is this enough? Yes, it's dark enough for me to be able to take the Just film don't out the rain. without any problems. <clears throat> I hope I don't have to open the camera. Got the music. Are you done? Good. I was able to take out the film roll from that damn thing. I hope that the film roll didn't get exposed to too much light. Otherwise, goodbye pictures and goodbye money. <laughs> That's your problem. Not mine. I'm just clicking you. You're gonna have to do all the cli the photographing work. I knew what you're doing. I again detected. Nope. Goodbye, Smiley. Bye. What's that? Okay, Gretz. Ow. Ow. Want a drink? I need a drink. I need a milk. Yeah. Hmm. But I meant drink. I meant drink milk. Not mean anything by it. Now give her back the camera. Don't let the lady angry. Here's the camera. Can I get my whiskey now? Nope, whiskey. And how are you going to pay for it? Your account has been overdue for months, Jack. And I have to pay a rent, too. So until you pay, you don't drink. Am I wrong? Or are you in a bad mood tonight? Terrible, I'd say. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what happened? Look around. The joint's empty. There's not a soul except for the one customer I'd happily do without. Smiley. Anyway, I'm busy now and I don't feel like talking. Ah, okay. I have to find a way of getting that sleaze Smiley away from the joint. And I have to do something to make Greta more manageable. Maybe some music might calm her down. Is that the jukebox? Oh, that is a jukebox. Let's see how this thing works. Um. Oh, forgot to on. Sorry. Hmm. Nope, not working. Uh. Ouch. Hello? <laughs> hmm? Salmon? The fish or the sushi? <laughs> Lemon three piece. Eh? What do you mean? With the rice? Should see salmon with rice. Not the solo. Yeah, not the solo nga. Two? Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna sound like her one day. How am I gonna fix this? I don't even know how to work a radio. <laughs> Wait. I need the sound. Are you busy down? Yes. Uh, clean. 
No, don't take this paper. That's mine. Hey, or else you don't have any more grocery. Oh, here you can take this one. <sighs> you want everything on the table. See, now I'm gonna sound like her too. Now you already have everything you need. Oh my god, how am I gonna work this radio? Hi. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. Drink. What? Drink. Clean what? Oh, yeah. You've got tissues right here. How do you know how, why you choose my shirt? I can hear it. How am I going to do this? No, 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 I don't need to load, I need music. No, 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 no. Here we go. There we go. It's the joint's radio. Maybe Greta will loosen up with a little music. Isn't there music already? I like this tune. I don't want to change it. Okay. Now let me change that and set the options back down because I really don't want the music. The environment's already crazy enough. Yo, sleazeball. It's today's newspaper. It looks like the rain from these last few days knocked out the telephone lines. In some areas of the city, the service will be cut off to avoid a short circuit. Hmm. Maybe if I can tell the guy that the phone will be cut off and he'll miss his chance. Hi again, detective. What can I do for you? I want you to scram. Smiley, you'd better get out of here. I don't see why I should, detective. It's not that. Um, uh, smiley appointment, heavy rain. Am I wrong, or did you say that you're supposed to get the call that will change your life at around midnight? Yes. Why are you asking me? Because tonight the telephone lines may be down in some areas. The storm last night seems to have caused more than the usual damages. <laughs> Not a problem. If they can't get through today, they can always get through tomorrow, don't you think? Certainly. No one would ever give up the chance of working with you just because of a telephone glitch. Yes, they'll definitely call tomorrow. You know what, Smiley? They say that real opportunities only come around once. 
You think they might change their mind and not call? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I could go to them, to be on the safe side. Well, it'd be a shame to throw away the opportunity of your lifetime because of a stupid telephone glitch, right? Yes, maybe you're right. I, I better go to them. <laughs> I'm sorry I have to run. I better hit the road. I have a lot of ground to cover. Good luck, Smiley. Cover it with your feet. <laughs> Thanks, Detective. And Thanks. your ugly smiling face. He might be a dirty snake, but sometimes that guy is as naive as a kid. Well, I think he is a kid. You look like an idiot. <laughs> At some point. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Instead of don't like smiling. Mood. Sorry, Jack, but I've had enough. The customers have all disappeared. I'm barely making it to pay my rent. And that slimeball Smiley is here every night. I hate him. About Smiley. About Smiley. No, Jack. I don't want to talk about that guy now. What are you going to know? How's the joint going? Not well. Why did you pick the name Red Tulip for your joint? My old man picked it, not me. The joint was his. He opened it after the war. He was in the Air Force. When he got discharged, he got the crazy idea of opening this joint. He was so proud to be Dutch that he decided to call it the Red Tulip, like the flower that represents his country. Aww. What kind of guy was your old man? He was a good man. I really miss his stories about when he was a pilot in Holland. I was born here in New York. I've never seen Holland, except in books. It must be a beautiful place. Should be. I don't think they're doing too well either right now. How did you end up working in your old man's pub? One day, my old man got sick and died. I had lost my job as a dancer, so working in his joint seemed like the only thing to do. Ouch. So you were a dancer? Right. The Flying Dutch Girl. That's what they called me. I <laughs> loved to dance. I was even in a tour in France for an entire year. It was one of the best times of my life. But I guess it was destined to end. With the economic crisis, no one was going to see the shows anymore. Better spend the few bucks left on booze and hookers. Did you <laughs> ever try to get back in it? Didn't make sense anymore. Moreover, now I have to run this joint. And serve whiskey to semi-alcoholic former police officers. <laughs> Delighted to be part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you haven't had many customers lately. Right. It's because of the Great Depression. That's what the papers call it. Banks have gone under, people are unemployed, mm -hmm. and there are prostitutes and criminals around every corner of the city. I'd say that the American dream is over, and we're just starting to figure it out. Great. At least you still have your joint. I barely make it to the end of the month. And the situation isn't getting any better. Last night, I even closed the joint early. There weren't any customers. It could be worse. At least you don't spend your nights photographing 20-somethings running around with guys who could be their fathers. <coughs> Is that what you were doing tonight? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it. He just talked about it. He just... <laughs> Let's change the subject. Could I get something to drink now? Could I get something to drink? Your account is overdue, Jack. I just want glass. <laughs> sweetheart, I just want one glass. Don't call me Sweetheart, Sugar, or any of those names. I hate them. And Greta! Tomorrow, I'll pay you. I've heard that story too many times, Jack. It's crap. Pay her now! Maybe you could make an exception for a fan of the Flying Dutch Girl? <laughs> it's just a pathetic attempt to flatter me, Jack. It's worth trying. The worst that can happen is that it will make you feel better. I doubt that it would be enough to get a drink on the house. But I'm sure it would make you happy. <laughs> you think that sooner or later I'll give in and pour you one, right? Yep. If I didn't know how to read people, I wouldn't be doing this job. 
So you think you're good at your job? Yep. I'm definitely not the best. I'm better than a lot of guys that hang a sign out. Why should I offer you a drink? Because you're not as tough as you'd like people to think. And offering a whiskey to a poor schlep like me makes you feel good in the end. <laughs> if I give you a whiskey, it's just so you'll keep your damn mouth closed. Today you're full of stupid ideas. Well, at least I got what I wanted. How do you want your damn whiskey? Make it a double. No rocks. I hate watered-down whiskey. <laughs> I down the first glass of whiskey in one gulp. That That's quick. burn in the throat as the alcohol goes down is a thing of the past. After years of drinking, all that's left is the sweet flavor of malt. Mm -hmm. A few drinks, and my muscles start to relax. My head feels light. Uh-huh. My vision gets cloudy. Mm-hmm. That's it! What One the picture? One later, and I'm outside the red tulip. Closing time, says Greta. My head is ringing like the church bells on Christmas Eve. The hammer is striking the wall of my skull like it's trying to break through. Too much whiskey, Jack. Better go home. You only had one glass. Where am I now? Wait. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Mm hmm. Well, call back tomorrow morning. I don't work at this hour. I'm not a pay as you go masseuse. What? McLean? McLean's in New York? Who are you? Where did you get this information? <coughs> Melville Port in Brooklyn. Follow the Lord? What the hell does follow the Lord mean? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Danazione. He hung up. What the hell now? McLean. It's been years since I heard his name. Why is he in New York? I don't like this, but I have to know. I'll go to the Melville Port in Brooklyn, but I better bring my gun with me. Even if I hate carrying a gun, I don't want to take a bullet for a call from who knows who. Well, I'd like to have the lights on, please. Dannazione. I can't see anything. I need to find a light switch. Dannazione. Dannazione. No, really, I need to know where the light is. Hold on. Even if I manage to pull something out of my raincoat, I doubt that I'd be able to figure out what it is. But I can't see a damn thing either until you cooperate with me. Done. Done not. Done not. Hello? Here's God damn it. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I took so long. Nothing useful in there. Uh -huh. I don't want to turn off the lights now. A series of useless manuals on the ethics of investigation. Mm -hmm. As if there were an elegant way to take a bullet in the thigh. Mm -hmm. The only useful thing on this shelf is the New York phone book. Can I take anything? I don't need the phone book now. How about this? Maybe another time. Dang it. Useless papers in useless boxes. Uh, what do you have them in your useless apartment? <laughs> Documents, an ashtray, and takeaway Chinese food. Ew. Everything that you need for a good investigation. Documents. Documents. Ah! No, I have something else to do now. Okay, okay. Inside, there's a nice mix of documents and underwear. What an apartment. Nothing useful in there. Nice bed. A fold away bed. Oh. One of the best inventions in recent times. Why don't we still have them now? We could need them. Like, seriously. A fold away bed. One of the best inventions in recent times. Can I go to this one? We need them now. I kind of need it. Pronto. 
documents on old cases. Mm -hmm. The only suitcase I have. Do you have your gun in here? No, I don't have any trips planned. That's asking. It's an old trunk full of clothes. There's nothing in there but blankets and clothes. Clothes. When I rented this apartment, this thing was already there. It's kind of broken, but I didn't pay for it. <laughs> the only useful thing back here is this old box of ammunition, but it's pointless for me to take it without the gun. Where's the gun? My homemade photography lab. I develop my own photographs. I can't let compromising materials end up with some photographer with a loose tongue. The last red light bulb I had blew up last week, and the place where I usually buy them doesn't open until tomorrow morning. Great. My homemade photography. I developed the last. Just a stack of old documents. No, seriously, where's your gun? Where's that button? <clears throat> oh god. It's my gun holster. Thank you! <clears throat> Donazione. It's been years since I put the gun in here. I don't have any idea of what the combination is. Great. Documents on old cases. A jar of lard. You. Boxes, papers, and other stuff that I don't need anymore. Wait, where am I gonna find your password? <coughs> <coughs> Documents and. How about here? <coughs> Better not. Looking at these cases again would be a blow to my self esteem. Why do you still have them? Okay. Family photographs before I left for America. It cost a lot to take a photograph back then. My mother insisted, and they took five, one for each of us. I wonder how they are. It's been more than 20 years since I left Italy. Ugh. What's this? I don't even notice it. <clears throat> it's a letter from Slavonsky, the apartment oh owner. Dear Mr. Del Nero, please remember that you are two months late with rent. You are asked to fulfill your duties as renter to avoid unpleasant consequences. This is last notice that I send. If you do not pay, I take drastic measures. <coughs> Sincerely, Vladimir Alexandrovich Slavonsky. If I had the money, I'd pay the rent. It's the third threat of eviction that this stingy Russian has sent me this month. And I think it can keep the other two company. Yes, yes, that's dirty biscuit that you dropped in my bag. Oh. A manual on processing jade, an essay on sleepwalking, and a treatise on the story of the Knights Templar. I must have been drunk when I bought these books. Maybe. I don't have any idea what's in these boxes, but if I put them there, there's got to be a reason. Maybe our keys are in there. There's nothing interesting. You said there must be a good reason. I've been in this toilet sink. <clears throat> my 20 square feet of bathroom with my $16 a piece ceramic sanitary ware. Order was never my forte. It doesn't seem like the right time. Better not. Look. Even though I'm really tempted, I don't have time to rest. Or Does wanna know? A switch. A switch. Hello, New York operator. I'm listening. Nah. <clears throat> I don't need anything. Bye. Thanks. Is that gonna charge my phone bill? Sorry. Inside, there's a nice mix of documents and underwear. Nothing useful in there. But I don't know what to do now. 
Maybe in my pocket? No, not that pocket. No <coughs> No clue. Oh. I just want to know. Did you a line? Did you a line? My investigator's license. Can I flip it over? Bucks. A damn questionnaire. Line? Anyone who wants oh. to can stick their nose in your business. You. Uh, What's that? Oh, great. How am I gonna do this? No, 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 no. Mop and pail. Perfect for a housewife. Except if you don't have one. Detergent and clothespins, the bare necessities to look presentable. Look for now. Bare necessity. Where's everything when you need it? <clears throat> the only suitcase I have. Can I open it, please? No. A manifesto from Clito in Calabria, the city. Boxes, papers, and other stuff that I don't need anymore. It looks like a statue of a seagull or a pigeon. I didn't remember having this junk in my storage room. Maybe you got it when you're drunk. Boxes, papers, and other stuff that I don't It's that a man. Mm. A jar of lard. It's that a man. If I actually I don't tried know. to put these shelves in order, I'd realize that at least it's half that. of these things should be it's thrown that. out. It's that a man. I know. Oh god. When I rented this apartment, this thing was all. The only useful thing back here is this old box of. Well, I can't take out the goddamn thing. It's my gun holster. It's my gun holster. Done, not. Maybe it can be a little lucky. There's four digits. Apart from a telephone number, I think the only th I the only thing the only thing there is is an ID. Can I see my number? Okay, eight. My investigator's license. Twenty. Maria, you got Maria in your name. Eight one seven two. Okay, let's work with that number. It's my gun. Done. Eight. Seven. Two. Oh, great. Thank you. My gun. It's been a while since I used it. I don't like to carry it with me. Yeah. Anyway, it's not loaded, and it's pretty useless to carry it around without any bullets. Now I, I know where the have bullets some are. bullets in my office somewhere. I just need to remember where. You're very bad at remembering things. Very bad. When I rented this apart... Here are the bullets. Let's hope they didn't rot over the years. Great. I think they did. There are just three bullets. Better to be an optimist and see the magazine half full rather than half empty. Mm -hmm. There are just... Take it! Good. The gun is loaded now. I just need to know where can I get red wrapper. Maybe I can cover that light bulb in red light. An old copy of the New York Voice. Storm incoming. 
The certainty with which Mayor Weston claims he'll be re-elected makes me think that his electoral campaign isn't relying solely on rallies and handshakes. <laughs> At the end of the day, you can always buy the votes that you can't win with your ideas. Okay. Oracle <laughs> is the path to hell. <laughs> Wonder what do you think about it? Where's the exit? What is this? <clears throat> oh god. Vote for Mayor Smith. Vote for a better New York. Great slogan. A three-year-old couldn't have done better. <laughs> Where should I be going exactly? <laughs> hmm. That's a cab. Since my car is still parked in Harlem, it's the only way that I can get to Brooklyn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The elections for mayor of New York are coming up. All the roads are plastered with idiotic slogans. Politicians. I hate those people. If there's no policy, we wouldn't be living here anyway. Old Abraham's jewelry store. In the end, they even managed to close down that old Jewish tightwad. Ouch. If this recession continues, in another two years, the Lower East Side won't have any businesses left open. Mm -hmm. One of the many smoking manholes that characterizes the streets of New York. How did they do that anyway? It's the manholes that smoke. A cab. That's just what I need. Hey. Let's talk. Oh, God. Hi, buddy. I help you? Take me to the Melville Port in Brooklyn. Sorry, friend. I know in service. What does that mean? It means I know work. I on break. No wife, no work, and no question. I on break. <laughs> What's a wife got to do with anything? When is your break over? Oh, I don't know. Can be two or three hour. You're on a three hour break? What kind of nightcap are you if you take a three-hour break in the middle of the night? I don't talk about my work with you, especially when I on break. Break? <laughs> I need to go to the Melville port. It's urgent. Buddy, it's your problem, not mine. I off. If you big hurry, call cab company and have send other cab. I think Goodbye. you're... Goodbye. You said white word. Goodbye. Okay, where can I find a license on this car? I think it's stolen. <laughs> For sure, I think this is stolen. Yeah, what am I gonna take? I'm not putting my hands in there. Ah, oh, okay. Can I call a cab instead? Mackenzie's store. It was the only drugstore around. Now I have to go halfway across the east side just to buy a pack of smokes. It's ridiculous. What's in this side of the street? Eh? What? My daughter just scratched a pen on my arm. What the? <laughs> what is that? Um. I don't give a damn. No, I'm not funny because you scratched my arm with a pen. An umbrella in an umbrella holder. It seems to make sense. No, because you draw my arm. Get core cave service. 
please. Don't draw any more on me. New York operator here. How can I help you? Call a taxi. Oh, can I call a taxi company, please? The taxi company, please. Wait a second. Hello, Binkle Taxi. What can I do for you? <laughs> Binkle. <laughs> I need a cab. <clears throat> Where are you? Essex Street on the Lower East Side. Hold, please. Okay. <clears throat> are you still okay. there? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Okay, I'm okay, sorry, okay. but the only driver in your area isn't answering his radio. He seems to have disappeared into thin air. You don't have any other cab? No, not right now. No one wants to work the night shift in South New York. The area is full of knuckleheads. So the only cab available in this area is the one with this disappeared driver. Yeah, we haven't heard from him in days. Oh, God. We even reported him missing to the police. But they don't care about a disappeared Mexican cab driver. <clears throat> they keep telling us that sooner or later, a detective will contact us by radio and they'll start an investigation. But I still haven't heard from anyone. Anyway, I can send you a cab from Harlem, but it'll still take about half an hour. No, I can't wait. I'll figure out something else. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, I'm the detective. All I needed was a missing cab driver. It seems that the only way to get away from here is that damn Chinese cab driver. <laughs> well. Ah. Well, well, well. Now, let's not float into thin air again. Well, now, the Chinese cab drive. I just went in the wrong direction. The Chinese cab driver ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> I just went floating in midair in there. You're supposed to be Mexican. You again, buddy? Yeah, you. I already told you, I am black. <laughs> um, I don't want to pay him twice. The company says that there are no cabs in the area. Well, obviously, I own the cab driver in area. Hey, wait. The receptionist said the only cab driver for this area disappeared three days ago. Disappear? I don't disappear. I don't answer radio at all. And why don't you answer the radio? I sell it, make big money. <laughs> you sold the radio? Yes, sold. I pick up more clients going round. Radio, no help. You idiot. <clears throat> Something smells fishy. And what you want now? I want now is to go to Eva. Uh, cab driver on bike. Missing cab driver. The receptionist said the cab driver who disappeared was a fat Mexican. And you don't seem much like a fat Mexican. I don't understand what you say. You understand Something. all too well if you ask me. I'm not interested in your game, but if you're Mexican, I'm Abe Lincoln. I'm Mexican. Nope. Adopted Mexican. <coughs> Many years in Mexico with uncle. Of course. And what's your uncle's name? Mm, <laughs> my uncle called. He called Diego. Diego de la Vega. Diego de la Vega is Zorro. Yes, yes. His friends often call him Zorro. <laughs> He's make believe. He doesn't exist. <gasps> oh my God! You, you tell me my uncle no exists? Let's knock it off with this story. I don't care who you are or where you come from or what you did with the Mexican driver. Just take me to the Melville Port and I'll keep my mouth shut about all this. Easy, right? You blackmail me. Oh yeah. You can call it whatever you want. That's just how things are. I know. Listen to Black Bear. Whatever you want. 
I hope the police believe your story about being Zoro's Chinese nephew. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. You win. <laughs> you get in cab, but no say nothing to nobody about this. That's better. <laughs> Where we go? The Melville Port in Brooklyn. The no cab kidding. glides over Manhattan kidding. Bridge, a solitary figure ignoring the speed limit. In my head, a quartet of pneumatic hammers continues to bang on my temples, reminding me that there's still a good amount of whiskey in my veins. Not exactly the best way to go to a meeting that seems like it was set up to get rid of someone quickly. No, you don't draw there. You happy now? I bring you here and now I go away. You're not going anywhere. Wait Allowing? for me here. I must wait Allowing? you here? I don't want to Allowing? wait you here. This place is scary. I want to go. <laughs> Stop whining or I swear I'll get your taxi driver's license revoked. License? Need license to drive cab? Oh, God. Great. A Chinese cab driver without a license who's driving the cab of some Mexican guy that nobody can find. Welcome to New York. <laughs> oh god you are serious <laughs> how the hell did you get there in the first place <laughs> oh my god yeah cause you drew my arm oh my god how did you get there in the first place <laughs> Oh my god. How can you dr wash the. You need to take a bath. Yeah, you need a bath. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. This guy is crazy. <sighs> hey kids. Okay, I'll just end this episode here because I'm really tired. This guy is crazy. So yeah, thank you so much. You shush. You. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or you hate this video, simply click on simply, click, okay. simply flick your wand over to the like or dislike button to give me your judgment, and flick your wand over to the comments area to give me your thoughts, and then flick it over to the subscribe button to see more of these dumbass videos that I'm going to be doing in the future. Until then, this is Natnar signing off.